Well, hello, sixth grade. Uh, this is our first math video uh, for this year. And uh, so each math lesson throughout this year, uh, for the most part, uh, you will have a YouTube video uh, to kind of show you how to do this from yours truly, uh, Mr. Swack. But uh, we're getting here into lesson 1.1 just to get us started for this year. And our first directions tell us to write the product as a power. Now there's a couple of things that I want to make sure you're aware of before. First of all, the word product, that should be a word you're familiar with as a sixth grader. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So that's something you should know. If you did not know that before, you now know that. When it comes to math, when we talk about the product, we're talking about the answer to a multiplication problem. A power is a number with an exponent. Uh, if I had like six to the power of five, that would be a power, because I've got a number, what I call a base number, and then what I call an exponent, which is this little number here to the top right. Or if I had like 10 to the power of three, that would also be considered a power, okay? So we're gonna talk about these multiplication problems and writing them as a power. Now you'll see, and I have a couple of different symbols that I use for multiplication. Uh, traditionally, we will use, we use an X for multiplication, but throughout sixth grade, there's going to be different things we're doing as we get into pre-algebra, algebra stuff, where I will be very specific about not using an X for multiplication, because for whatever reason, uh, the X could be a variable or whatever, and there's different ways that we show multiplication, and one of those ways is by using a dot. So uh, you'll see some of that in your assignment today. But first of all, so I actually get to taking these multiplication problems and turning them into a power like these here. Now these I would say, so you know how to say it, this would be called six to the power of five. So I say the base number, which is six, to the power of whatever the exponent is, five. I would say this one is 10 to the power of three. So, write the product as a power. This is 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. Well, my base number is going to be 8. That should be pretty self-explanatory. Then all I do is count how many 8s I have. Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 8 to the power of 4. Now here I have 27 times 27 times 27 times 27 times 27. So what's my base number going to be? Well, that's right. My base number is going to be 27. Then I just count how many 27s I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 27 to the power of 5. That's writing the product as a power. I'm not expecting, 6th graders, that you're going to have a whole lot of difficulty with that. Now, the second part of your assignment that we have on this video is to find the value of the power. So here now, in the first part, you had to take a multiplication problem and figure out what the power was. Here we're doing just the opposite, okay? We're taking what is already an exponent, we're gonna turn it into a multiplication problem, but then we have to go beyond that. We actually have to find the value. We have to find the answer to the multiplication problem. So. If I look at this first one, I have 6 to the power of 3. Well, I know that it's going to be, since it's 6 to the power of 3, it's going to be 6 times 6 times 6. All right? And so I'm just going to start at the beginning. Now, I should know that 6 times 6 is 36. Okay? I know that 6 times 6 is 36, just from basic multiplication facts. But then I have 36 times 6, so I'm just going to have to do a little scratch work because that's not a difficult problem. Some of you might be able to do that mental math, but you might have to write that out. That's no problem. You should know how to do this. 6 times 6 is 36, so I'm going to put the 6 down and carry the 3. 6 times 3 is 18, plus the 3 is 21. I find that 6 to the power of 3 equals 216. Not hard, I can handle that. The next one is one to the power of seven. All right, one to the power of seven. So this is gonna be one times one times one 
times 1, and some of you by now probably realize where this problem is going, times 1, times 1, times 1. And by where this problem is going, you kind of realize that it's really not going anywhere because it's just going to be 1. We have 1 as our base number, and then 7 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, sure enough, 1 times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1 times 1 is 1, times 1 is still 1, and times 1 is still 1. So 1 to the power of 7 equals 1. And that kind of shows you whenever you see 1 to any power, it's just still going to equal 1 because I could take this out 8, 9, 10 times. It's, you're still just doing 1 times 1, and it's always just going to equal 1. The last one that we're going to look at today, 7 to the power of 4. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to do 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. I specifically showed this problem because I want to show you a couple different ways you can do it depending on what you're more comfortable with. Well, we should know that 7 times 7 is 49. So I can kind of just make a little note here. And I'm not necessarily going to see need to see this on your paper, but I want to kind of show you how you can think about it and break it down uh, uh, in your brain. And if you want to write it down to show, uh, to help keep you organized, that's fine. So 7 times 7 is 47. Now, if I wanted to, I could just then do 49 times 7, because 7 times 7 is 49, and then take the 49 times 7. And so I come up here. 49 times 7, 7 times 9 is 63, put the 3 down, carry the 6, 7 times 4 is 28, plus the 6 is 34, so I get 343. Then I can take that 343 and times that by 7, so I come over here, 343 times 7 all right, 7 times 3 is 21. Put the 1 down, carry the 2. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 2 is 30. Put the 0 down, carry the 3. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 3 is 24. So I get 2,401. I can be confident that's the right answer as long as I'm confident in my multiplication. But I just want to point something out in case anybody's a little pessimistic uh, and thinks we might get a different answer. I know that 7 times 7 is 49, which means that this 7 times 7 is also 49. So if I wanted to just do one problem, I could just go and do 49 times 49 because those two 7s have a product of 49 those other two sevens also have a product of 49. So I could come over here and do 49 times 49. And let's see if I get 2,401. Well, nine times nine is 81. I'm gonna put the one down, carry the eight. Nine times four is 36, plus eight is 44. So I'll put 44, cross the eight off, put a zero, so everything lines up with my four. Four times nine is 36, put the six down, carry the three. Four times four is 16, plus the three is 19. Okay, so let's add those up. One plus nothing is one. Four plus six is 10, put the zero down, carry the one. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 9 is 14, put the 4 down, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, I also get 2,401. So, once again, how you get that answer, okay, whether you just take it out by 7, so you're just multiplying by the one digit, or if you want to combine more things and do it that way, really 6th grade, whichever way you prefer to do it is up to you. Uh, we just want you to show you know how to get that and uh, get that right answer. All right, so uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day, sixth grade. Bye.